File Overview The Foundation is not the only group with an interest and investment in the paranormal and metaphysical. There are many other groups in existence who possess, use, or attempt to create SCP objects, either for their own personal gain or for the protection of mankind. Some are rival organizations, some are splinter groups of the Foundation, and some are trusted associates of the Foundation. In any case, it has been deemed necessary to create and distribute a brief on what agencies the Foundation knows about and our stance towards them. Arcadia Overview Defined by its highest highs and lowest lows, Arcadia was a drug-fueled rampage through the video game industry. Their occult fixation led to the exploitation and damnation of their customers. After the video game crash of 1983, Arcadia entered an era of decline from which they still have not recovered. Although it may not be the powerhouse it once was, the former members of Arcadia still live among the general population. The remnants of their empire can still be found in thrift stores and garage sales across America. They're still out there, snorting pentagrams of cocaine off joysticks to this day. Are we cool yet? Overview A collective of anomalous artists or anarchists, members of Are We Cool Yet? are capable of either obtaining or producing anomalous objects and entities and using them to create art installations. These installations are placed for maximum public exposure and have been fatal to bystanders. The phrase, are we cool yet, is always present in some way. The Black Queen Overview Very little conclusive information has been recovered about the person of interest called the Black Queen. She claims the given name Alison Chow, the name of the daughter of researcher Dr. Gears and Chow before Gears' recruitment by the Foundation. The Black Queen possesses unusual knowledge of Foundation structure and activities, and contained anomalies. The reason for this unusual knowledge has yet to be conclusively identified, but it appears to be gained partially through anomalous means, including the possibility of extra-universal information sources. She has repeatedly been able to breach Foundation security, utilizing this information, in addition to classified anomalous means. Conflicting reports exist of the Black Queen's activities and motivations, likely due to multiple individuals or deliberate counterintelligence. Initial reports characterize her as malevolent, murderous, and destructive. Other reports characterize her as neutral or benevolent. All intelligence indicates her hostility towards the Foundation. There are reports of the Black Queen's involvement with most major groups of interest known to the Foundation, along with several world governments. Unverified sources claim that she is the same individual as L.S. of the Serpent's Hand, and that L.S. stands for Little Sister. The reason for this unusual close connection is possibly due to the Black Queen's use of the Wondrous Library. Intelligence indicates the presence of multiple other individuals, also calling themselves the Black Queen. The nature and origin of these individuals is inconclusive. End of file. To learn more about the SCP Foundation, subscribe to SCP Orientation Today and turn the notification bell on so you don't miss any of our videos.